Dustin, Afroviet TV, PM Food Travel, Hong Nei An Yi, Thu Vu Yan Nha, Bep Kui Wei Hung, Han Wok Bros, Lu Tuan An, Se Vui Vietnam, Daniel Jackson, Divert Living, Go Rit Ở Chau A, War Zone, Thuy Q, Ngu Wave, Bà Tân Vlog, and Max McFarlane for a total of 11,791,000 views in collaborations not on my channel. Các bạn ơi, Phúc Mạp đây! Hôm nay Phúc muốn làm một video về lương từ YouTube. Phúc kiếm bao nhiêu tiền và ăn mừng 250 ngàn người đàn khi. Nhưng mà video này sẽ bằng tiếng Anh. What's going on guys? My name's Hurley or as the Vietnamese know me, Phúc Mạp. A lot of people are asking me, how much money do I make on YouTube? I mean, I have 250,000 subscribers, almost 13 million views, my own TV show, and 11 million views in collaborations outside of my channel. I must be rich, right? Well, today we're gonna dive into it. So, how do you make money on YouTube? It's not the subscribers, it's not the views, the likes, or the comments. While those are important, the thing that earns you money is the advertisements. And what most people don't know is that if you don't watch the advertisement all the way through or click on it, the creator, such as myself, does not earn any money. So people say, oh, I saw three ads on your video. Well, unless you watch them all the way through or clicked on them, I didn't get any money from that. Now, the next part about earning money is not just the advertisements, it's the CPM or cost per milli, how much YouTube pays you per 1,000 views. Now, that depends on your audience. Where do they come from? For example, an ad for Shopee in Vietnam is going to be much cheaper than an ad for Amazon in America. And because the company pays less, the YouTube creator gets less. I live in Vietnam. I started my channel in Vietnam and my videos are aimed toward Vietnamese people. Therefore, I have a 91.7% Vietnamese audience. That's great. I'm happy. I'm very proud about that. But Vietnam has one of the lowest CPMs in the world. It's currently at 74 cents. So 1,000 people watch my video and I get 74 cents. If my audience was mainly from America, I would get $4.49 per 1,000 views. So even though I have 1.8 million monetized playbacks, that does not mean I make a lot of money. So I've explained how you make money on YouTube. Let's move into the investments that I've put into this channel. Of course, I needed a camera. So when I started the channel, I bought the best point and shoot vlogging camera on the market, the Canon G7X Mark II for $515. Now that camera's great, but it's hard to motor vlog or go snorkeling with that camera. So I also bought the GoPro Hero 5 for $429. Nobody wants to watch shaky footage, so I made sure to buy a Zion Crane M2 gimbal for my GoPro, my Canon, and my phone. That ran me about $190. In the beginning, I didn't know much about lighting, so I just bought a nice ring light. The ring light cost me $85. When I learned more about filming and I got a better light, I bought the Forza 60 with the Nanlite softbox. The total of that was $275. But look at this soft light on my face. I think it was worth it. Now to make any video better, you should throw some drone footage in there. I wanted to buy the DJI Mavic Air, but the price tag is around $1,000. Luckily, my buddy Anthony sold me his for $345. What a steal. Any YouTube channel needs some kind of advertising, so since I've started it, 
I've bought 7,000 business cards. I've handed out the majority of those, but that cost me around $85. So the total of the things listed so far is $1,924, not counting tripods and light stands and memory cards or cases, just the things that I've put on this list. Equipment aside, let's take a look at what I've purchased in the videos. Now, we all know about Bad Dad the Chicken. I had to buy the chicken. I had to buy the leash. Oh, lâu quá. Trời ơi. Lâu quá. Đi đi mua chỗ khác. Cái này đúng không? Yeah, một mẹt. And of course, the beautiful dough bowl, which everybody knows me for. I feel local now. Let's go get our chicken. In the second part of that series, I had to buy a duck. In fact, I bought two ducks because the first one was too big, so I ate it and then used the second one for the video. On top of that, the market didn't have an ao ba ba that would fit me, so I had to custom make my own. When I filmed the video with Nam from Afroviet TV, I was looking for the ao ba ba and I got sold some pajamas with the thought that they were ao ba ba but turns out they weren't. When I made the durian video with Dustin, everybody was sure to let me know in the comments that I overpaid for that durian. I guess 120,000 for a kilogram is just a little pricey. I think any money is a little pricey for a durian because who would want to pay for that smell? I've made quite a few videos with coconut worms. Those things are not cheap. They're like 8,000 a piece and they don't even fill you up. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for. How much money do I actually make on YouTube? With a channel of 250,000 subscribers, 12.8 million views, 11.7 million views and collaborations on other channels, seven TV shows here in Vietnam, the Discovery Channel, the Travel Channel, and even a TV show all about me. In the end, I make <laughs> This video is brought to you by The Fook Mop Candle. Do you want a little Fook Mop in your life? We'll pick one up at Candle House today. Also available for delivery. $1,790. But wait, what about tax in Vietnam? That's 10%. What about my multi-channel network that I'm signed with? Another 20%. And yes, I'm American. Even though I don't live in America, I'm considered self-employed and I have to pay around 15% in taxes on my YouTube money. So in the end, I'm left with <laughs> This video is sponsored by the Foot Mop Vlog t-shirt. Do you want to be the coolest JHO on your block? Well, pick one up off my Facebook today. Somewhere up here. $1,066. Joy oi. But I invested $1,900 into this channel. It looks like I need to make some more money. To be happy in your job, you have to love what you do. And it's safe to say that I love making YouTube videos. If you look at the likes on my channel, it's a 99% like ratio. So it seems my audience also appreciates my work. But given the figures that I just showed you, it is not plausible for me to quit my job and only do YouTube. So when I get comments like this, I have to say the same thing every time. I will strive to make one video a week for my audience in an effort to keep my videos professional and entertaining while still teaching English and taking care of my family here at home. I really appreciate everyone that watches my channel. Please like and comment your opinions so I know what I can work on next. But do not forget the most important thing from this video. When you see an ad on my channel, or any other creator that you care to support, please 
watch the ad all the way through, or click on it to help them earn some money. Thanks everyone for watching my channel, and I hope to make another video with a million subscribers here in the near future. Thank you very much, and apply and chuk mong na